Hey guys, welcome to Living in New Hampshire. My name's Cody and I'm a local real estate agent with EXP. In today's video, we're gonna cover what to expect when living in Pembroke, New Hampshire. Pembroke is a quiet town located in Merrimack County, just 7 miles east of Concord and 19 miles north of Manchester. The small town has an estimated population of 7,227 residents across a total land area of 22.8 square miles, which equates to a population density of 318 people per square mile. For comparison, the most populated city in the state is Manchester, and they have a population density of 3,418, more than 10 times that of Pembroke, offering the town's residents plenty of privacy with the convenience of living close to the large cities. Within a portion of the town lies Suncook, a census-designated place, also known as a populated area that generally includes one officially designated but not currently unincorporated community. Approximately two-thirds of Suncook are located in the town of Pembroke, with the remainder in Allenstown. The area itself has an estimated population of 4,888 people. The town of Pembroke has a full-time police and fire department while offering easy access to Concord Hospital just seven miles away. As a whole, the demographic is relatively balanced with the median age being 40.3 years. 92.9% of the total population above the age of 25 have a high school degree or higher, while 27.6% have above a bachelor's degree. Their proximity to major employers plays a large role in the median household income of $82,808. According to data, the median salary for males above the age of 16 was $48,077, and females slightly above that at $53,868. Overall, with only 4.3% of the population below the poverty level, that puts Pembroke well below the national average. Since 2009, the unemployment rate has dropped by nearly half, with the average weekly wage increasing across the board. It's no surprise that New Hampshire ranks among the highest property taxes in the country. As of 2019, Pembroke's property tax rate was $23.58 per $1,000 of value. The town consists of 1,918 single-family houses, 575 two-to-four unit buildings, 281 five or more unit buildings, and 151 mobile homes and other housing units. One of the biggest pros to living in Pembroke is the median home price of $324,296, which is significant significantly less than the nearby cities. When it comes to job opportunities within the town, the largest employer is Associated Grocers of New England. The Wholesale Distribution Center employs more than 320 people. Also among the list of major employers are positions within municipal services, food processing equipment, and banking services. Another thing to consider if you have children is a town school district, consisting of two elementary schools, one middle school, and one high school. The district enrolls just under 1,500 students in grades K through 12 with a student to teacher ratio of 12 to 1. Even though Pembroke doesn't rank at the top of the list when it comes to safety, they still boast a crime rate 1.8 times lower than the U.S. average, which is to be expected considering New Hampshire ranks among the safest states in the nation. Lastly, we can't forget one of the most important factors when choosing a place to live, and that's the weather. As many New Hampshire residents will tell you, winters are cold and snowy, summers are hot and humid but too short, and the rest of the year is fairly moderate. Pembroke averages in the 70s and 80s during June, July, and August, with temperatures dropping into the 30s during December, January, and February. The rest of the year fluctuates between the 40s to high 60s depending on the season. And that wraps up the video, guys, of what to expect when living in Pembroke, New Hampshire. I hope you enjoyed this one, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And as always, if you're thinking about moving to New Hampshire or you just have any questions, I'll leave my contact info in the description below. Thanks for watching.